two weeks. What does that mean setting the tone for the offense and just their confidence? What's the energy with the team? Well, I think you said it, you know, confidence is the name of the game. Um, whether you're playing a position or just the whole offense in general, um, anytime you can gain confidence, you're going to play much better and you're going to be able to execute much better. And, um, and so that's what I've seen with this offense after two weeks is each week just gaining a little bit more confident. And, and that's, that's a big deal. And so um, it was really good to see us come out fast on Saturday and really kind of um, take over how we left off at Georgia Tech. Like, we didn't come out fast um, early in the game against Georgia Tech, but we finished strong. And then, you know, like I said, we, we started fast against Furman, and, um, and that was a really good sign. We just got to put all four quarters together now and uh, play some complimentary football with um, our defense and special teams, and, and uh, that's kind of the biggest thing. But confidence is big, and, and our guys, I think, are feeling that right now or are getting more and more confident. Yeah. Yeah. I. Um. You know. He. He has just. Number one. Put the work in. And I, I. One of the big challenges for him last week, or one of the things of encouragement last week, was just lean on the hard work that you put in, and 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 that should give you confidence because he works um, harder than anybody else. I mean, he he has never um, compromised his work ethic at all, and so. Um, that's paying off, you know, and he's 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 learned a lesson of, you know, that work ethic and and uh, being consistent with your work ethic has allowed him to gain confidence. Um, so he's he's been able to, and you see the confidence just through how he has played um, these last two games. You know, still not perfect by any means, but um, but he is definitely uh, gaining that confidence and playing faster and and just uh, confidence in in the guys that he's playing around. And so that's that's a big positive for us. It seems like he has better touch on the ball when needed. Yeah. Is that fair to say? It is. He's done he's done a really good job of working in the off season um, and preseason camp with um, number one, giving a guys giving the guys a chance to make a play, you know, just giving the guys a chance. When we give a guys a chance, we see you know, whether it's going to be a big play or it's going to be a pass interference or, you know, something of that sort. So that's something that we've talked about a, a lot. And then we've worked on those throws a good bit, too, of just, you know, not overthrowing guys and, and, and being able to put some more air on the ball when he needs to so that they can run under, under it and make a play. And, and, uh, and, and I believe he's getting better and better at that as well. Yeah, probably over the last, you know, several games, that's probably the most comfortable. You know, um, he still had a couple, uh, a couple that he could have uh, done a better job in the pocket. But, man, it was an improvement from the first week. And, um, and that's what I told the, the whole team after the, the game was just uh, the only statistics I'm interested in is winning and getting better. And, and if we can do those two things, then we can be a, a heck of an offense and a heck of a team. And so let, let's just focus on those things and focus on being inside out. And um, but yeah, I think his his pocket presence improved dramatic, dramatically from the first game to the second game, um, and that comes with confidence. How big is it for you guys to have Antonio as a contributor right now? Not only his speed, yeah. but his contested catchability in the past game. Yeah, he the kid has no fear. Um, he came in here with a great work ethic. Learned our offense, um, really understands the big picture, and that allows him to play fast. And um, and he he's not afraid of any situation, and and uh, just as just as over the top as far as how he um, can set up receivers or set up DBs, and and understands leverage and break points and that sort of thing. And he's got obviously the guy given ability of being quick and fast. Um, and just natural catcher, just natural catcher. Um, so it's fun to watch him play. It's fun to watch him succeed and and uh, and make several plays those first two games. Brandon, what are you guys going to face uh, against the Louisiana Tech defense? Yeah, this this defense, um, you know, they're very active. They're very athletic. Um, you know, they'll pressure you when the time is right for them, and and uh, and they'll they'll press you and make you play. They're going to play a lot of man coverage. So, um, you know, we're going to have to do a great job of not just execution, but making those plays, those routine plays 
or those 50-50 balls, we need to make sure we're giving them a chance and we need to make sure that we're uh, making those plays outside as well. And so, um, but defensively, a very active group, very athletic. Um, they run the ball very, very well, great effort. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely a, a good defense. Yeah, well, I think a couple things. One is, I mean, um, just confidence in him moving around, you know, and being able to, uh, we've seen pictures of him escaping the pocket and him be able to move better than he did in the past. Um, and he's got a ton of confidence in that now. I mean, he made some unbelievable plays on, on, uh, uh, on Saturday with his legs. Um, and, and then also in the scrambling situations, like you said, to Antonio and to, to uh, Bo and, and to a couple other guys, it was it was really really good to see. And then he's also you also have seen him stand in the pocket, um, and you know show that he got a lot of strength. You know he's a big kid that's got a lot of strength and and has been able to hold up in the pocket a couple times where guys aren't able to make those arm tackles, and he can step up and hang in there a little bit longer and then make the play, um, whether to, to Bo on one of those plays or two of those plays actually. So, um, you know, being able to extend plays is a big part of playing the position of quarterback. And, and when you can do that, um, you can be even more explosive. Coach, what can we expect to see from Adam Randall on Sunday? Yeah, just excited about that kid, man. I'm just really, really excited just for um, his progress and how fast he's returned. And, and um, uh, he's done some really good stuff in practice, and, and he's ready to go. And so, um, you know, he can get out there this week. I mean, I don't know how much yet. We're still going to go through the week of practice and kind of get an idea on how much he's going to get out there. But um, he's definitely going to play. Um, and everything he's shown us is his, his confidence is sky high. Um, I mean, he's a very, very physical and fast um, player that uh, had an unbelievable spring until he got hurt, you know. And so I, f I feel like his confidence is great and, um, and, and he's going to do some good things. Well, two different positions. I mean, Antonio plays more so in the slot, um, and 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 we're going to play, um, you know, we're going to play Adam more on the outside, and he's just a bigger body, um, a guy that can, you know, is just really strong and, and and can run well, and and so he has a combination of things. So you, Antonio's got that quick, short uh, distance quickness, and 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 really can separate. Um, where Adam is more of a, a strong guy that can create separation through his physicality. Yeah, I mean, it, those two are great examples of, of um, you know, guys that understand the big picture at a young age and just um, come from great programs and, and, and come from a lot of preparation. And so when they get here, you know, you can see, you can tell right away in the first couple practices that, okay, they understand the big picture and they know what they need to be doing in order to get open and, and how to get open and the little ins and outs of those things. And so, um, and then they got to finish, you know, be able to finish on the ball is a big part of it. And Adam did that all preseason and then he did it all spring too. He finished. Um, and that's, that's hard to be consistent as a finisher when you got guys draping on you and, and that sort of thing. But when you got that strength and that um, physicality, it helps. How would you assess Blake Miller's performance just kind of after his like, first up and down? Yeah, yeah, much better. Much better his second game. I think he settled in, you know. Anytime you get – the more experience you get, the more settled in you'll get and the more confidence you'll have in getting out there and doing the right thing. And so um, didn't really have any mental busts, which he had a couple in the first game. And, and so really good to see. And he, he's still physical as, as anybody out there. And so um, he's just going to continue to improve and get better. He seems like he's real critical of himself. Right? Yeah, he's, he is. He is. He's a, he's a pleaser. And he's a guy that, um, man, he's so intense. And, and he's so into it. And, um, and that's what you want. You want a guy that's going to correct himself or be – hard on himself so that he knows that he's going to go out work the next guy and, and find a way to get it better. And, and that's who Blake is. And uh, that's what he's shown in the last couple of weeks. Have you seen that out of any other true freshman before? 
Um, yeah, there's definitely some some other guys that have done that for sure. I mean, you got guys that can um, anybody that can learn from their mistakes and and not have to wait for the coach to correct them, and they're correcting themselves. I mean, you know, you got something special, um, and then the talent on top of that uh, makes it that much better. What did you think about the offensive line play as a whole? Good. I mean, I think protection wise. Um, did a great job. They really had no sacks. I know we have one recorded, but Cade really should have just thrown the ball away instead of taking a two-yard loss right there. So that was really nothing on the offensive line. So very impressed with the um, the protection. Um, and then in the run game, I think we averaged 5.2 or something this past week, which was a big uh, improvement from the first week. Um, again, guys just being able to settle in. You know, you got. Um, you know, Walker Parks playing a new position. He had to settle in those first two games, you know, and just be able to have some more confidence. And, and they showed that on Saturday. And so I felt really good about where they came from the um, week one to week two. Um, and like I said earlier, that goes for our whole team, just guys improving, just continuing to improve um, and, and, and finding one or two things to get better at and not just – um, having too many things in their head to get better at because then a lot of times you lose your focus and you don't get better at anything. So just having a couple things in their mind to get better at one day, you know, one week at a time, I think is, is uh, the way to go. And that's what they did this uh, second week. Do you think focusing on a little improvement from practice each week is what leads that more confidence in the game? Yes, it is for sure. I, I really believe that um, when you got guys that know what mistakes they, they made in the first game um, or in practice. And then they can identify what those mistakes are and then go learn from them and, and really talking as coaches on the details. Um, and so that was the issue last year. We didn't have as much details. And so our details are even more honed in um, and our guys are responding that much more too. And so it's shown a, a, a big improvement um, thus far. Well, as coaches, you know, you know, you're always looking for improvement, and and there, there's still he'll tell say the same thing. I mean, he's he's still got to get better at uh, several things. Um, the biggest thing for any quarterback is consistency. How consistent can you be? You know, and he's put two games together that are solid games. You know, not perfect, but he can he can gain confidence from those games. But now he can really go clean up some of the little details that we were just talking about um, to make his performance even that much better. Um, but yes, I mean, he can improve each week. You know, there's always something to get better at. Um, nobody's perfect. And so, and he knows that and he's very well aware of it. And uh, like he came to the sideline a couple times on Saturday, did a great job. But before I even could tell him, hey, man, we need to throw that ball more to the outside or whatever the case was, he's correcting himself. And that's a sign of a guy that's, number one, just competing hard and, uh, and, and just taking ownership in his performance. And, um, and, and he's done a great job of that. Any questions for Coach from Zoom? The Zoom world. I mean, it comes down to confidence, you know, it comes down to confidence with those 50 50 balls. And it starts with the quarterback giving him a chance and giving him a chance in a spot where he can go up there and make that contested play. Um, there's a couple throws that we didn't give him a chance on Saturday that we need to keep working on. Um, and then those the receivers need to do a great job of uh, of making those plays and, and, and finding ways in practice, carrying it over from practice to the game. And and uh, again, just comes back to creating that confidence level with those guys. and. And it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. It's just uh, being a little bit more consistent with those things. And with Kate, were there some good teaching moments for him from Saturday? And was it maybe good for him to see? He knows every drive is not going to be a super easy touchdown right now. Yeah, I think every snap that he gets is a learning experience. You know, at a young, at a young age, just um, not only watching when DJ's out there, but then whenever he gets a chance to – Get out there and and, uh, and 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 be the quarterback of the offense. You know, every little experience is important. And so, man, he's learned a lot of things in these first two games. You know, there are some positives, and then there's things to to correct that he needs to learn from. And 
And uh, that's, that just comes with the position. As long as you're learning from the mistakes and not, not making the same mistake, you know, and just really uh, being able to move forward without um, you know, making that ma same mistake is, uh, is improvement right there. Well, Adam is a guy that can play multiple positions. So you can see him at either outside guy, um, um, mostly on the outside. You know, he hasn't done much inside work, but um, he's more of that bigger body, that bigger physical uh, body that can hopefully win in one-on-one -on -one stuff um, and hold that line and give us room to throw some conversion balls to the, to the outside. You know, he's one of those guys that, that is able to do that. I mean, I'm, I think he weighs 220. 225 somewhere in there and uh so he's a big young kid that has a lot of explosiveness as well anybody else for coach all right all right thank y'all